pain you feel when climbing on granite is quite intense, especially on your hands. Um, if you touch a really sharp crystal, and you, but you're trying to be strong, and you've got to kind of push past that little sharp pain. When I do make a move onto like a really tiny crystal, it can actually hurt. <laughs> but pushing past that feel, like feeling of like the sharpness of that, uh, it kind of drives you to get the climb done as well um, to not think about the fact that you are above your bolt or a bit of gear and you could fall and possibly injure yourself it kind of makes me push on and forget about the other things I need to worry about <laughs> Well, usually before a climb I get quite nervous, excited, because there's so many things you have to think about, so hopefully the gear will stay, or am I tied in properly, and usually before a climb I have to really put my brain in gear and just like get rid of all the, the floaty like noise around and all the thoughts and things like that. I'm usually really psyched for climbing anyway, but sometimes I do get a bit nervous and anxious because of, like, because of having anxiety through my autism, it does put me off sometimes. And usually I am i don't look as excited when I'm about to pull on, but the second I get on, it's like, just washes away like all the horrible things. And I kind of breathe as well, like, I don't realise that I haven't been breathing up to that point and then I want to on the climb and I'm breathing and taking a big glass of air it makes me feel kind of alive and um, myself. I do put a lot of pressure on myself. I, I don't really pat myself on the back a lot. But looking back at all the things I have done, so like Stoa was pretty epic and then obviously the Matterhorn is pretty scary but I still got through that and lived to tell the tale and knowing I've been through that and it's kind of makes me feel like, oh cool, that's not, I'm not so bad. <laughs>